Yo, my name is Suave Gonzalez, the first Pulitzer Prize winner in the United States of America to ever been incarcerated. You know, my journey began in 1983, June 3rd, when I was sitting in my grandfather's barber chair and a guy walked in and tried to stick him up. And before my grandfather had a chance to respond and give him what the guy wanted, the guy shot him. And his blood just was pouring all over me. Um, and that was the day that uh, I decided, since I was hurting, that everybody else was gonna hurt. And since I refused to testify against him or identify him, my mother decided that she wanted to leave the South Bronx and move to a better place called Philadelphia. And what she did, she threw me really in the mouth of the line because she moved to this place called the Badlands in Philadelphia. Um, I was in Philadelphia maybe five months before I got involved with a group of kids and one fateful night, somebody got shot. And next thing you know, I'm getting charged with murder. And it was a horrible feeling because I was like, I didn't do this stuff. But you know, the system was like, well, if you don't tell us who did it, you take, we giving you the case. And that's exactly what they did. After a day and a half in trial, they convicted me and sentenced me to life in prison without the possibility of parole. <clears throat> I go to prison and um, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to read, I didn't know how to write. You know, so I did what I was taught to do with Shabbat. I became wild, I got involved with fights, fighting COs, fighting guards. I mean, I was just doing everything I wasn't supposed to do to one day I end up in solitary confinement and I started receiving letters from my mother, letters I couldn't read because I didn't know how to read and write. So an older gentleman that I never even seen his face began showing me how to read and write. Seven years later, I get out of solitary confinement, I get my GED, passed it, enrolled in a college program for a bachelor's degree, graduated. In 2012, the United States Supreme Court ruled that it was unconstitutional to lock a juvenile up for the rest of his life. That put me up in the running, you know, uh, but yet the state of PA decided to appeal the, the decision. So I had to wait five more years. But in the process, you know, I was just creating educational programs, scholarships, and, and just preparing myself. In 2017, November 20th, that door opened and I was released from prison. For the first time in my adult life, I was in a world that I knew nothing about. I don't know, I didn't know how to work the phone. I didn't know how to make a phone call. I didn't know how to do nothing, nothing at all. However, you know, there was something in me that was telling me control your own narrative. So once I learned how to work the phone, I started recording my own story because I wanted to tell my story. That story turned into a podcast called Suave which um, won the Pulitzer Prize. Then it won the IDA, which is like the Oscar in podcasts. Why is this is important? It's important because people go to prison and they are stripped of their dignity, they give up. I didn't. I came home and I reclaimed my dignity. I reclaimed it. And how I reclaimed it was controlling my narrative. I don't need nobody else to tell my story. I don't want nobody else to tell my story. I got my own voice, you know, and the Suave Podcast is like all over the world now. We're working on season two. So I welcome everybody that's watching this to, you know, wait for season two because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be bananas. And, and again, this is from a guy that went to prison with an IQ of 56 that they didn't know how to read and write. Today, I am a Pulitzer Prize winner. The first formerly incarcerated person to ever win that. That is history that cannot be taken away. The only two things that we have in this world is our education and our mind. And if you don't let nobody tamper with that, no matter where they put you at, no matter how much money you got, no matter where you think you are in life, nobody can take that away from you. This content was shot and edited by Joey DeVille.